amazing event. Let's like, thank like, uh, Growlers and Cave, the gentleman behind the bar. Woo! I saw this in our uh, USF hallways as an uh, impromptu come up and talk about what you're thinking about, which is amazing because I struggle to find uh, dialogue with uh, friends and students and family members about this mythology and everything else. So I think this is a great idea to have an open forum to come out and talk and share your views. It's been uh, pretty helpful. I've almost been going insane <laughs> with my own thought process. So I appreciate it. Thank you very much, Kim. Uh, to build off on the last two gentlemen that came up here and, and the question that was posed is I think the difference between the people here and the rest of the world is we question things. We have a question that leads to a question that leads to uh, searching and finding information. Especially in the last election, facts were not popular, which is scary. So, to further build on what we're talking about, I read a, a piece in the Yahoo News 33 ways you would find, or you could tell that you are a youth group kid. <laughs> so, uh, I went to a few youth group deals as a, a, like before I was 10 years old. It was alright, but we didn't really get into it. Um, but one of them, uh, number nine on this Yahoo piece, was burning secular information and in CDs. Which, I have a lot of family members that are uh, very religious, completely disown my questioning of things. So I found that very, very scary that you're just gonna burn or discard information. Wow. So uh, basically, <laughs> like I just wanna say, the difference between all of us here and and the rest of the folks is, I think a healthy quest for knowledge and truth is is okay. And uh, I'd like to thank you for your time. I appreciate it.